Hi guys. I wanted to make a start on the river this week, but before I could get any scenic work done, I needed to sort out the layout's fascia, to tidy up around the edge and to give the layout a nice professional finish, for when it's finished. The usual go-to for this is wood, however I have round corners, so I went with Fomex, as it bends fairly well. The first job is to stencil the edge of the layout's topography, and cut it out with a knife. Whilst this does bend, to get it around the sharper corners without too much stress, I used a heat gun to warm up the plastic, which can then be held in place until it cools again. To attach it to the layout I use small nails which are going into the wooden base. It's then just a case of working around the whole layout. Where the pieces meet, I'm gluing a Fomex offcut onto the inside walls. This will hold them level and eventually I'll fill the gap with filler before I paint it. Clamps are used to keep the bond as the glue sets. So that's the fascia done for now. I've left it a little larger than needed as it will get trimmed to the shape of the scenery as it progresses. So onto the river. Firstly, the bridge is masked off to avoid getting it ruined during the next process. The river slash stream bed is now cut to its final shape, following the contour of the fascia. Then a thick mix of filler is applied to the base. This not only gives a good solid base to build up from, but it also acts as a barrier for the resin water, so it doesn't seep into the foam below. The colour doesn't really matter as it'll all be painted, but I add a touch of brine to make it easier to see it against the foam, less chance of missing bits. Ballast and stones are added whilst the filler is still wet. They can be lightly pushed into it, which stops them looking like they're floating above the riverbed. The larger stones are actually bits of slate from Abbott Fenning, so it's a nice chorus connection. Next is just some random brown ballast that I never use, and this diffuses the contrast between the larger stones and, well, no stones. The next thing to add are the roots for the eventual shrubbery and trees that will go above them. The roots are rubberized horsehair, cut into clumps and then glued on with PVA. Bridge masking is also removed before the filler sets and it's stuck there forever. The whole riverbed now gets a good spray of scenic glue to set it in place. And the layout gets 24 hours to dry. On to the painting. And this means the bridge is masked off for a second time, this time to avoid the overspray. I'm going to build up the paint in layers, so to start off everything is sprayed with a matte black. This will not only bring a uniform base to paint on, but it also pre-shades the stones. It's only an acrylic, so it dries really quickly and I go over it a couple times from different angles to catch everywhere that I miss from the front. Next is Earth Brown, and I really feel like this colour is starting to be the Where's Wally of my channel. Literally, I use it in every project. This time it's used to paint the roots, but also the bank from above, which leaves the shadow of black below. stones are also warmed up, again from above. Finally, I spray a dark green onto the bait, which will give the impression of depth in the water.
Now I add slimy grime onto various stones to start giving the appearance of moss and slime, where the water's constantly hitting them. Then I thought I'd take it a bit further and started to add some very fine flock onto the rocks and parts of the bank. We're ready for water so the masking is taken off the bridge for the final time. So, because the river slash stream descends down to the edge of the layout, the resin will run down and pool at the bottom, so I thought I'd make dams with hot glue to hold it in place, which white water will eventually hide. I thought that was a good idea. And whilst I was at it, I added masking tape to hold the resin in, using hot glue in between to form a good seal, so hopefully this won't leak. Right, the water. This is AK's two-part resin water, complete with syringes to get the perfect 2 to 1 ratio. Before this video, I've only really used it for small projects such as filling water tanks, so this is a good test. I started pouring it from the top of the river slash stream, and used a cocktail stick to fiddle it into the gaps between the stones. I did this for a few minutes before two things happened. One, I didn't make nearly enough resin, so I made four times the volume. And two, it dawned on me how bad the hot glue actually looks if I leave them in. In the end, I pulled them out with pliers and just tipped the layout back a bit to minimise the resin pooling at the bottom. Well, that's it for now. I need to leave the resin to set for 24-48 hours before I start adding surface texture. So, well, at least that means I know what I'm doing next week. Cheers.